Michael and Sarah, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely, and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare consent before God and His Church. I, Michael, take Sarah to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Sarah, take you, Michael, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Sarah, you make a beautiful bride. Michael, you are a most fortunate man. Anyone who knows Sarah and Mike also know how deeply they care for each other. They are wonderful people, each complimenting the other. Now you share a lifetime of love, mutual support during the challenges that life brings, and more, far more, than your fair share of happiness. God bless you both, to Sarah and to Michael. Baby, I'm yours. Baby, I'm yours. And I'll be yours, yours until the stars fall from the sky. I, yours, yours until the rivers all run dry. I'm gonna stay right here by your side and do my best to keep you satisfied. Nothing in the world could drive me away. Every day you hear me say, Baby, I'm yours. Baby, I'm yours. And I'll be Through the pandemic, illnesses, long stretches of work travel, and soul-sucking jobs, you two have been a force. Growing up, Sarah and I fought like nobody's business, a claim I'm sure the neighbors in attendance can attest to, yet she still was everything a big sister is supposed to be. Mike is a hardworking, family-focused, trivia-loving, witty, loyal, down-to-earth guy, and I'm honored to call him for the first time my brother-in-law.